Today we are updating computer descriptions and user descriptions with login information. All right, let's look at it. Hey there everybody, this is Tom with Tom Tech Show and today what we're covering is kind of a way that I've found to track users and computers that are getting logged into and what users are on them. Um, when they logged in and what computer they logged into and it's since I'm populating Active Directory with it It makes it pretty quick and easy to view You know instead of trying to do some report or some bunch of scripts or things like that. It's really pretty quick uh, But before then I do have to say I've been baking a little bit and I bake some uh, Mickey shaped uh, peanut butter cookies Since we are unable to go to the park at this point um, have to have a little Mickey in your life somewhere um, since we do have the wide array of Buzz Lightyear's here, which my collection does keep growing. So uh, all my little guns and everything else up here. Yes, I, I got to have my Buzz Lightyear stuff. So anyway, so in Active Directory, if you look at the... Uh, list here you can see that by default the fields that are displayed are name type and description well wouldn't it be convenient if this description field here were populated with something that we could use um off you can put you know other information in office uh, people's telephone numbers you know different profile information uh, account information your you know telephone numbers and different things like that but maybe you're not using description for anything else. Well, we can use that and populate that with our login script. So, but first we need to give a user rights to access that. So we have to right click the domain, first go to properties, click the security tab and click advanced. Okay. So now we come down, I've actually added this already. We have to add and then click select principle Type authenticated user. And then we want to select, the first one we want to select is computer objects. And then that's going to show us a list of all these objects. And we want to be able to see, write, write to description. I've already done this, so we're just going to skip over that part. And then the next one you need to do is the descendant, all the way at the bottom, descendant user objects. Let it refresh there and then go down and find the description which is a little ways down there's right description okay i've already done that so there's these two items here which allow me to write to those okay so now in our script we need a script that's going to that's a little easier here in this we need to be able to get we need a, a script that has the object get ad system info so we're going to access this object of Active Directory system info. And then we need the username. So object AD system info dot username is going to get our user. And then here, object AD system info computer name, we're going to get our computer name. So that's going to pull that information out. Um, and then from there, we can get the user object and the computer object. So Basically these, so this line here, get AD system, and these four lines here are gonna help us get to that point where we have our computer name and our username. Then we come down here and we see, we're gonna create a message, and that's gonna be the username container, and then the display name, this is actually, I change this. This is going to be CN computer name, and this is going to be CN computer name. There we go. That's updated. Okay, so what we're going to do is create this string that says some user with a, a, some base name with their display name logged on to this computer name at the current time. Okay, so then we're going to take the information and put it the description into the description field we're going to put that message in the description field and then we're going to update it with the set info so you need object computer put and object computer set and then we're going to do the same thing for the user username 
full username logged into computer name at date and time of now. Take that, do the object user put with description and the message, and then do the set info. Okay, so if we actually run that, so here in my Active Directory, if I refresh this, boom, boom, I have no, there's no information here under user. And up here in computers, my client one, there's no information in my client one. So if I come here to my Windows computer and I say sign out, okay, I'll log out. And now then let's go here and we're going to log in. And the login script will run. And once it comes up, we're going to see that our information in users, give it a little refresh. Really? Really? And here we go. I logged in to client 01 at 426, 238, 52 p.m. And the computer, give it a refresh. I logged into this client one at 426 p.m. So you can see how this being right here on the screen uh, makes it pretty easy. So if you had, you know, 30 or 40 users or even more, you could see, oh, wow, okay, this is, you know, who logged into this computer last. Now, if you wanted to do this differently, maybe able to sort it by a description, um, you could change, maybe put the time and date in the front so that you can sort by time and date and get whose computer has been logged in the least um, and then be able to sort that, you know, different ways. This right now is doing, you know, user computer or if you want to be able to flip it around and say, just when you, on the username, you can put, you know, computer first and then the username and then on the computers, you put the username and then the computer name. So you can do different sorts and stuff just by clicking the top of the of the title bar. All right. So to run and to get the script to run, of course, we need to put the login script in our network folder, um, which in the network is under our server. So ADDNS one is our domain controller and under sysvol then the domain name, then scripts, you'll find this login. You can put a login uh, Visual Basic file there with the script that you want to run. Then in Active Directory, under the user properties, under profile, there's a login script file, which is right there. And that will cause that to run and then populate our description with the name and computer that we've been using and just logged into. Okay, well, that's a script that I've used over and over in the past, and it's it's actually been really helpful to find out that information. You can actually use that to start uh, populating other values um, in in the system. You can suit, use some other ones uh, like you know the IP phone or other you know department uh, different things like that. So if you put a user in a department, then it automatically updates the department field for you. Different things like that. So. Uh, really pretty handy being able to script all these things. The more we script things, the more they get out of human hands, which means the less likely they are to be typos and problems and things like that. But there you go. That's how you populate your description fields in Active Directory with user information. All right. Well, thanks for watching this one. Take care.